Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be installing a bloat-free version of Windows 11 25H2 on an M series MacBook using VMware Fusion. So as for my specs, I am using a M2 MacBook Air with 8 gigs of RAM, and I'm currently running the latest version of macOS, which is macOS Tahoe. So for this process, we will be using the Tiny 11 25H2 ISO file. The benefits of using Tiny 11 ISO are that, that this version of Windows does not include pre-installed applications and services that most users don't use. So, in short, Tiny 11 is lightweight and much faster as compared to the standard version of Windows 11. So, let's get started. So, open any browser and go to this URL. So, I will share all these links in the video description below. So, scroll down to the download section. Now, download the ARM version of Tiny 1125H2 ISO. So, as I have already downloaded this file, so I will skip this process. The next step is to open your VMware Fusion. So, I am using the latest 25H2 version of VMware Fusion. I highly recommend that you use the latest version of VMware to avoid any challenges. So, once VMware Fusion is open, click Install from Disk or Image. Now click here and upload your tiny 11 25H2 ISO file that you have downloaded above. Once done, click on continue. Under boot firmware, keep it to default UEFI option and then click on the continue button. Now type in your password and confirm the password again. Once done, click on the continue button. So this is the overall summary of our virtual machine. But we still need to make a few changes. So just click on customize settings button. So this is the name of your virtual machine. Confirm it by clicking on the save button. Now you will see a couple of hardware options. First, we will go to the network adapter. Under bridge networking, we will select the auto detect option. So this will enable our VM to use the default network settings that we are using on our macOS. Now go back and click on processors and memory. Here, Increase the number of processor cores to 4. You can also increase the memory if you want your VM to run faster. So the recommended RAM usage is 4 gigs. Once done, close your VM settings. Now that our virtual machine is ready, simply click on the start button to proceed with the installation steps. So press enter on the screen to load the Windows 11 ISO file into our VM. And then proceed with the installation steps. So after a while, you will see the language settings. Just select your language and click on next. Now select your keyboard layout and then click on next. On the product key page, click I don't have a product key. Here accept the terms and conditions. So on this page, select location to install Windows 11 page, click next. So this will take a while and your Windows 11 installation will be complete on your virtual machine. Uh, so for me, it took around 5 minutes and then you will see your Windows logo. Now select your country or region. I will set this to India and then click on yes. Select your keyboard layout and then click on yes. On the Let's Connect to Network page, click on I don't have internet. Now type in your name, your user account password and answer these three security questions. So these are the few basic final installation steps. So once the installation is complete, it will take another two minutes to finalize the installation steps. And we are done. So if we see that the total installation time, it took us around 11 minutes to complete this process. So moving on, on the top panel of your VMware Fusion, click on Virtual Machine. Now click on Install VMware Tools. On your Windows, open Fire Manager. Here, you will see the VMware tool attached as a drive. So just double click on it to start the installation. 
So these are the basic installation steps. Just make sure you select the complete setup type to avoid any missing of any important drivers. Once installed, restart your virtual machine. So after the restart, all your required drivers will be automatically installed on your virtual machine. So since the display drivers are now working, you can use your Windows 11 in your full screen mode. You can change the desktop resolution directly from your desktop. So for me, 1280 by 100 was the best resolution. So if you go to settings, you can verify that your internet is working as well. With this, you have successfully installed Windows 11 version 25H2 on your Mac. When this tiny 11 ISO was created, the latest OS build was 26200 6584. So we already have an update that you can now install on your VM as well. To do that, go to settings and then click on Windows update. Click on check for updates and wait for a while. So after viewing the pipeline of updates, scroll down to the advanced section. Under additional options, click on optional updates. Here you can see that the latest OS build is now 26200-7019. So just select them and then click on download and install. So if you are using full screen mode, you can simply swipe left and right to switch between your macOS and Windows. If you have any questions or if you are stuck somewhere, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.